we're here to show you our latest special listing in the hottest neighborhood in Encinitas, Village Park. Are you ready? I was born ready. You're born ready, okay. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Finley and this is John Finley and we're with the Finley Group. And today, before we show you about our newest listing here in Village Park, we want to show you one of our favorite things about this community. And what's not to love, what we're standing on right now, two miles, 2.3 miles to be exact, of green belt that meander through the community, plus you've got finger canyons to add texture to everything, so you've got this greenery. It's not just streets and houses, it's really cool. Well, and also, one of the famous award-winning elementary schools is right here in Village Park, Flora Vista Elementary. And then of course, we've got the junior high too, the Daniel Junior High. And you've got Parkdale Lane, so you've got two elementaries, you got right. the Daniel, and then when you go into the high school district, you go to San Diego Unified High School District, which is the top in San Diego, and they've got four, four high, high schools, schools to, to choose, choose from, from, which from, is pretty great. Yeah, from like Del Mar all the way up to Carlsbad, you've got those choices. But let's talk about the location of Village Park. It sits along the El Camino Real Corridor, which is centrally located three miles from the beach. You can take your e-bike, and if you live here, you're going to be seeing the gang of kids on their e-bikes, but <laughs> three happen. miles from the beach, and you've got shopping and every service yeah. you need right here. Right, and from our listing, you are walking distance to Target, to uh, several restaurants, the whole Target shopping plaza. The Forum Shopping Center, right. Starbucks, everything you need is right Grocery here, stores. restaurants. And so you're centrally located, but the cool thing about this neighborhood is it's such a great neighborhood, like these green belts, you'll go by and you'll see pickup games of soccer, soccer football, whatever, lemonade stands. It's that kind of neighborhood. You guys yeah, ready to yeah, see the it. listing? Welcome to 1518 Vanessa Circle in Encinitas. So before we show you the inside, there's a couple things we want to point out about the outside that we think are really neat. So for instance, we've got this elevated look over the street. So you've got this great vantage point. You've got a big three car garage, big driveway. And I love how the house sits kind of in the middle of the lot. It's a big lot. So you have good front yard space and good backyard space. Right, and you know what else is awesome about this is the wide streets and that this is on a circle so that no other cars go by here. It's not a busy thoroughfare. The people that live on the street are the only ones that go by you. Right, it's and unique. you've got a quiet street. You hear that? You don't because it's quiet. Anyway, let's take you inside to see the rest of the house. Look what I found, the entrance to the house. So. Elizabeth and I divide and conquer in real estate, and we do it when we're filming too. What I love about this house is the grand entrance. You've got high ceilings. You've got what I call the prom staircase. This is where all the kids line up for prom and take pictures. At least they did in the 80s when I went there. Now maybe it's a selfie staircase. So what I love about this house is this downstairs room. Now this is the optional room. So this can be a bedroom, it can be an office, it can be a den. It could be a place where you work out. What a lot of people have done with this model is exact, exactly this. You've got a door here that you could do, or you could wall this off, put a closet here, and at that wall you can do a cutout, put a door, and what that does is it connects you to this bathroom, so now you've got kind of an ensuite downstairs. Your door is here, and that works really well. Now you've got a downstairs bedroom so this is where your cutout is for the door. Now you've got your full bathroom downstairs and you've got kind of an ensuite. So you've got a now downstairs bedroom with a bathroom. Let's take you over to the living room now. Okay, here's what I love about this room. The high vaulted ceilings are carried from the entrance into the living room. And this is a great gathering space. You've got big windows that look out over the street so you get a lot of light in the afternoons. So this could be a gathering space. It could be where you sit and talk, play games, but this can also be a great TV room if you wanted to mount a TV on that wall. You've got a lot of room in the high vaulted ceilings just to make it feel like a big great room, which ultimately leads into the formal dining room. So as you can see, it flows right into the formal dining room. Again, you've got windows out to the outside. In the morning, you're gonna get sunlight there, some in the afternoon as well. But this kind of turns into this great room between the living room and the formal dining room. 
which is great. And what I love about this is it's right off the kitchen. So any overflow, if you're having gatherings or whatever you're having, it kind of just overflows from the kitchen into the formal dining. Speaking of the kitchen, this is where we divide and conquer. Elizabeth is gonna take you through there because that is her domain. Okay, I don't know about it being my domain in here, John, but I do like the kitchen and I like to cook in it. So welcome, come on in, let's talk about it. So many things I love about this kitchen. One is that it just has this like European feel with all the light maple cabinets. And what I love are all the mini upgrades that you don't even expect, all the pull out shelving. And then what's further is they have more cabinets over here that pulled out. So this is for a kitchen mixer. This thing pops up all the way up here for your kitchen mixer, which is awesome. Then there's this special butcher block. And then not to mention this kitchen has great high-end appliances, Miele dishwasher, GE monogram double ovens, and a bread warming drawer. And uh, beyond that, we've got all these other special nooks with bread cabinets. And then we have great views to the backyard. And if it gets too sunny in the house, in this room, to cool it off, this is what a cook needs. A cool area to cool off in when it gets warm. Okay, something also that is great about this kitchen is it has a good size family nook here. So it flows right from the kitchen to the kitchen nook and to this open straight up to the family room. So it's a, something that everybody wants is this great sized room. So you also have a desk right here for homework or whatever you may do, run your home business here. Something that is great is that there are windows wall to wall all the way throughout this great room that leads into the family room. Let me point out a couple of key features about this family room that I really enjoy. One is that you've got this brick uh, facade in here that they, a lot of families take this out, but this one left it in and it's really unique and it's, it's kind of warming. And the other thing is there is a gas fireplace here and a wood storage right there as well. And all the while you are still looking out at the gorgeous backyard. All right, you guys, come on in and check out this primary suite. It has great vaulted ceilings. It's super wide. And by the way, look at these views. You can see the bluffs along the top of Encinitas. That's looking out towards the direction of the Botticitos Lagoon. And then something else I love about this primary suite is you have an extra room back here with um, space for an office or uh, us ladies, we might like to make it an extra closet, right? So um, anyway, check that out. Okay, let me show you one other thing here. It's really important. A huge walk-in organized closet. Take a look at this. It's got, oh, about 12 different shoe racks in here that uh, could probably fit four pairs of shoes on each one. And then you've got all this organization that's already built in for you. It's awesome. Okay, so that completes the inside of our tour. Let's go check and see what John's up to out in the backyard. I'm a little scared. Okay, here he is. What are you doing? I thought you were gonna be in a lot more uh, trouble out here. I'm enjoying the beautiful <laughs> backyard. Okay, I'll have to see it then too. So many things to love about this backyard, right? Yes, before we finish and forget, if you like this video, hit the like button, the bell below, and the subscribe button so you can get notified anytime we release a new listing video. But yes, this backyard, it's quiet, it's secluded. And I think what I love about it the most is it's like a blank canvas. So if you do want to change it up, you can, and you've got the room to do it. You can either put a pool back here, you could even add a playground set to it. Um, you know, it's really kind of what you want to do. And there's plenty of room, pool size yard, you got a jacuzzi, and you've got plenty of room to barbecue. And this is just a great entertainer's yard. And it's just quiet and private. I love it. That's the tour of 1518 Vanessa Circle. So if you guys have an interest in seeing this home personally, reach out to the Finley Group and we will give you a personal walkthrough. Thanks for taking the time with us today.